London Weejay from the backcourt. To Aninga to get Fields going. And a field kill. Skyler Fields leading the Pac-12 with five kills per set. I'd expect that Arizona State will try to serve her as much as possible. Make her do double duty. It's okay. She's used to it. Tyra Ariel out of Plano, Texas serving. Little tip, pancaked up. Well done by Ariel coming from the back line to get that up. Jillian Neal enters a true freshman from San Diego, California. Playing somewhat close to home now. She was an All-American at Nationals at Junior Olympics last spring, summer. Trubin's pass pulls them off. Skyler Fields was looking for a touch, but a half-hearted request for it. Keep an eye on Arizona State's serving. Will USA be able to pass it and get their middles going? Ball is in and a serve to start things off. Arizona State pushing hard. They had eight aces versus the UCLA on Friday night. A complete domination sweep win for them over the Bruins. Fields warming up, well picked up. Pretty little waterfall from Jelly Sear. Junior from Flower Mound to Texas, just out of the reach. Marcia Levinska, number four for the Sun Devils, is up front. Back to get Williams going. That's going to be really important for USC to mix it around whenever there's an opportunity. Now, a little bit of hole through the block. Why? Because they've already established fields. Tuaninga's going to have to be conscious of mixing it up. Ellie Snook serving. Snook, an excellent defender. Ball out. And attacking the hands is Jelly Sear again. Sear had a really nice night against UCLA. Eight kills and a block and three service aces. Mary Schroll serving the Libro. She's a transfer from Loyola Marymount University. Field swinging soft at first. Levinska, first attack of the day. If you're watching what Arizona State is doing, they're going one way and then it makes a middle blocker hold and wait. Just late enough, but Levinska going down the line. Lindsey Miller, the middle blocker for USC. Touch off of hands, brought back. Here's a free ball to the Trojans. Trubin clears everybody out. Attacking the back. You have to if you're USC. They go to Lindsey Miller, not all the way out to the pin. She's an excellent slide hitter. This one, they do a little bit of a gap. Fields serving from the back court, front court setter for USC. And Mia Tuaninga. London Weejay, freshman up front. Out to Sear. Sear gets fingers. Martin Levinska now back to serve for Arizona State. Keep an eye here. The Sun Devils will absolutely go to her on the D ball, which is a backcourt right side attack. Brad Keller wants to make sure his team's locked in on it. Tuaninga on the joust. Remember, she's front court. Touch it second. That's always the key. 
Tuaninga holds up there to go off hands. Schroll is in front of Levinska on the side for Arizona State. They serve right at her. Levinska is activated. Good dig. Big up by Schroll. Seer rolled. All options available. Tuaninga calls her own number. Biggest part of that play was the dig by Snook off of Levinska. Tuaninga sees a hole. Blocker went with her. Blocker knew she was front court. Out and over against the antenna. And just like that, USC making a push, closing the early gap. Now, Truben, to serve. A 3-0 run by the women of Troy. Trubin on the back line to tie it up. Levinska still in the back on the right. Keep an eye on her. Poor pass again, and that one outside. And I say again for Arizona State because they're very rare. This is a fantastic serve-receive team in the Sun Devils. They are so low error. Turbin continues her service run. Pass is good. Levinska, one-on-one, -on -one, snuck right in it. That's another big dig from Ellie Snook. And then it's put away. A one-on-one -on -one blocker. And Snook is right in it, lined up. Able to be capitalized on and put away. The run continues. It's a 5-0 run by USC. Rejected from the middle. Tuaninga handles the first ball. They don't want that. London Weeje over it. You don't want Tuaninga handling that first ball. Somebody needs to step out of the way so that Tuaninga can run the offense. USC escaped with it. A 6-0 scoring run. Arizona State's 7-3 lead evaporates on the service run. Early. Pass is perfect. They can run the middle. And they don't. The block. That's something you'll see Arizona State run a lot. That gap and go, it's called. Watch the middle blocker. She's right next, or the middle here, right next to the outside. Blocker's got to make a decision, and they do. Gap and go, that's called. Two sets right next to each other. That ends what has been a fantastic service run. 7-0 scoring run with Gala Trubant on the back line. Front court setter on both sides of the net. Keep an eye on Shannon Shields. She'll attack. Pass is good. Fields from the back court picked up. And they run the middle. Here's a free ball. Ariel handles it. Tuaninga again. Jumps it quick. Tuaninga, one of the more offensive setters in the nation. Mixing it around a lot. We've seen D balls. We've seen her attack twice. We've seen her run the middle and the outside. Twininga in the back court now. Kayla Williams up front. Remember, you've got London Weejay who has yet been untapped for USC, number two. That is one of them get match. Back serve number 23. Ariana Richie. Marta Levinska, number four in black, still in the backcourt for Arizona State. Still will hit that D-ball very effectively. Williams keeps it rolling. Fields underneath, dug by Levinska. Over on one. Weejay. Levinska again. USC outlasting. 
USC, though, Mia Tuaninga picking up ball after ball. If they can get somebody else to pick those balls up, they can run their offense. There's Tuaninga picking up yet another one. Weejay. Block is solid. The block of Ariel and Williams. Solid. That's something Brad Keller and his staff have worked on a lot this week. They have studied Arizona State. They have seen that gap and go, which means a quick one to the outside and one kind of a medium ball between the middle and the outside. That's the gap all the way out and kind of flat is the go. It's difficult to block. The blockers are looking at a couple of different options. Shannon Seals back court. Serving Marta Levinska up front. They haven't had her going recently. Uh oh. Overpass handled well by Maddie McLaughlin. Truman's pass is good. Back. Ariel, bounce town, excuse me, that's Kayla Williams. Bouncing it on the right side. Williams, one of those players that can play outside, right side. She's played middle as well. Watcher sees that line. Schroll is right there. Williams gives her a great look at it, bouncing it in front. Rebello. Little ball picked up. Outlet to Fields. She takes something off of it. And a net violation against USC, actually a touch against the shoulder. Brad Keller, challenge card in his hand, and he's gonna challenge the play. He's challenging the net call. So wait, you guys know all music, everything? I bet you don't know. Original call was to Arizona State. Watching to see if it's a shoulder or upper arm coming down. Still watching it all the way down. Yes, there it is. It's a good call. Feel as she's coming down into the net. JJ Van Neal talking with his squad. I would expect that the call is going to stand. She's like, oh my God, what song is this, Weston? I'm gonna put the instrumental. You guys say it, no big Jelly Sear has gotten the most attacks so far for Arizona State with eight swings. Levinska just four swings, and I think that's gonna turn around pretty quickly. Take one more look. Just keep an eye on the left side body of the outside blocker for USC. That's Skyler Fields. Great pike over. But when she comes down, just kind of scrapes the serratus, if you will, against the net. Question could be, too, was the ball down before the end of the play?
There was a net violation on the other side for ASU before that, and a point for the women of Troy. That widens the gap, 11-15. Fortunes for USC. Fields Williams and Lindsey Miller up front. On the other side, Roberta Hilbello answers. The call comes in to pass an attack for Arizona State. Levinska still front court. Maddie McLaughlin up front for the Sun Devils in the middle. And a serve right out of the challenge. Well timed, a couple of back-to-back -back points for USC. Ariel deep and landing it right inside the back line. Goes right down the line again. Schroll handles it. Levinska through the block. Jillian Neal serving. Arizona State trailing just by four with Levinska up front. That can be made up. Push outside, field extra long, reach and sky. The hop. By Fields puts the sky in Skyler. Look at her over the top. <laughs> Snook now in to serve. Remember as well, she was lined up well on the Levinska and had several digs against Levinska hitting from that right side. <laughs> Slide from Miller, well defended. Kong block by Tuaninga. Out. They are calling a touch against USC's block. Point Arizona State. Levinska, excellent vision. Take a look at it again. Levinska. Off hands. Three times the Pac-12 player of the week is number four in black, Marta Levinska. Snuck up high for Fields. The system, there's not many who are better than Skyler Fields. She has a huge window. Her team knows to put her up, on, and tight. Blocks perfect, right? Forehand straight across, doesn't matter. Over the top, it's a spirit breaker. Megan Verbeest serving now to Aninda up front. Shields is going to try to work. Levinska again and again. Snook was lined up there. Levinska now will go to the backcourt, serve, and no doubt get the majority of swings here on the D ball. Her beast exits and fields in. So your big bombers for both teams are in the backcourt and they will attack a lot from the backcourt. Overpass and Claire Jeter is on it. Senior from Texas A&M. Loves the hit, had 10 kills and a block versus UCLA on Friday, did Jeter. Truman, perfect pass. Levinska, no touch. Marja Levinska with four kills for Arizona State, their leader, Fields. Four kills, their leader for USC. Power chip. Jelly Sear with the power chip. The emergence of the power chip over the last few years. Beautifully done. Yeah, to Aninga. 
Just having a brief conversation with the down ref. Trouble. Levinska is behind. They go out again, no touch. Point USC. That run by USC when Gala Rubin was serving early in the set, it was a 7-0 run, has proven to give them enough cushion to last this, this long in the lead. However, Arizona State can turn it on at any time. Tuaninga behind the service line, a powerful jump server. And there it is, an ace for Mia Tuaninga. Anybody who follows USC Volleyball knows that Tuinga is deadly from that service line. Super sharp, WeJ handles it. She's gonna get a chance to swing. Pushes deep. Over. Tricky, tricky, well done by Shannon Shields. Shields, complete court awareness. Blockers are so worried. And going out to the other side, she stays down and sends it over. Trouble again. That's the gap. USC's passing. A little bit all over the place. Bailed out by two Inninga settings. Skyler Fields. Freshman London Weejay serving. Weejay missed a number of games with an injury. Happy to have her back in part from her passing. Habello through the block. Williams takes it down and loses part of it. So I, I would expect that Arizona State is going to stay away from this athlete, Weejay, and try to serve Fields. Weejay and Truman taking up the majority of the court for the Trojans, and they do go after Fields. And it's overpassed. Next time around, no doubt. Trubin will call Fields off. Three-point deficit for Arizona State. Can they do it from the service line here? Shield serving. Levinska is up front. Pass is perfect from Trubin. That's a connection to Tyra Ariel in the middle. Ariel out as Emily Fitzner comes in. Fitzner will serve. She's a very accomplished setter as well out of Indiana. Has set the Trojans to a couple of wins. Good defender. She's going to play left back defense. And the down official calls a touch off the block. Fitzner out. Gala Trubin comes back into steady. Arizona State still within striking distance. The move has to be made right now, and it has to start with the serve from freshman Jillian Neal. I would expect they're going to go right and go at Williams. They try to. It doesn't go. Very intentional serving from Arizona State. That one falling short. It's set point for the women of Troy. Fans on their feet in Galen Center. Pass is perfect from Schroll. Back to Levinska, one on one. It slowed down. Back to Fields. Execution falls a little bit short as Fields tries to change pace. Set point number two, USC. Troll behind the service line. Weejay, dime pass. 
snap down. Great dig. Calling a touch. Here comes the Sun Devils chipping away. Brad Keller is going to stop the roll. The serve. Pass is great from Weejay, but the dig by Shields. Fearsome. And then going off the hand of Skyler Fields. Vinska is up front for Arizona State. This is the point. Service error after a great run by the Sun Devils. USC wins by two. It all came down to just fewer errors. Arizona State took a little bit to warm up. Will they come out of the gate hotter in set number two? Pass is perfect by Schroll. They go to Levinska right away. Fields, off high hands. Those are the two players that I told you to keep an eye on at the beginning. First Levinska and then Fields. And with that, Skyler Fields has reached 2,000 career kills. First at Texas and then here her career continues. Off hands again. Shields, so crafty. Shannon Shields transferred to Arizona State after starting her career at Louisville. J.J. Van Neal says of Shields, she has an investment in improving. Before J.J. Van Neal was at USC, he was at Utah, and he said he recruited Shannon Shields to Utah there. So happy to get a chance to coach her in Tempe. Carving it is Tyra Ariel. Tyra Ariel tore her ACL her freshman year. She's back, jumping high, and it's the thumb down finish for that kill. She was out all last year. Pass is perfect. Levinska takes the longest possible route. Watch Levinska going all the way deep around the court and around one of her teammates for this kill. Pass. She had trouble pass, I should say. Levinska again, holding the block. No problem for Marta Levinska. Sun Devils take the lead. Estella serving. To the middle. Outside again. Block is solid. Miller and Williams closing it down. Great press by Lindsay Miller. Use of the block, well done. No question, it's going to Fields. Sharp, beautiful dig. Levinska this time down the line. Another crusher by Marta Levinska. Levinska, every option available block. Perfectly formed. Trubin there, but Levinska with heat on it.
the officials. Talking for just a moment. Mary Schroll. Tough serve. Lindsay Miller against two blockers. Slide. Manages it. Fields picks it up. That was a beautiful set by Tuaninga. Nice and clear. Back in. Here's a free ball. Arizona State. Options. They go Levinska. One on one. Snook in it. Net violation against USC. Arizona State doing what they need to do now, just going at Leminska again and again. She's your powerful player. Rej, good pass. Had her number did troll. Big time block. Miller and Fields up against it. Head coach J.J. Van Neal urging Levinska to attack high against that block. Because down, not available. She does attack high, but Fields is up there. Strong right hand. Roll. It'll make you nuts as a coach to see it. Levinska serving. Trouble. Twininga will take that one and attack. Double contact called against the setter. Arizona State maintains their lead. Truman had a 7-0 scoring run in the first set that gave USC cushion they needed at the end. What a smooth finish. Shields to Claire Jeter. Just gorgeous. Everybody got your way. Claire Jeter didn't even practice this week until Thursday. EJ. Just beautiful tenderness off the block. No ego involved. Back serve number 91, Tuaninga. back to serve. She's got an ace in the first set. USC trailing by two. Powerful serve, perfect pass. Wow! Shields with authority. Let me tell you something, it's extra hard. She has to go across the court, has beautiful court awareness. That is so hard to do. That'll fire your team up in a heartbeat. Got your attention now, don't we? Communication needed. Levinska is behind. And now everybody getting involved for Arizona State. A number of different attackers playing a role. We've seen Habello, we have seen Jeter, of course we have seen Lubinska, we've seen Shields, and Maddie McLaughlin in the middle, and that's not even everybody who's attacking. For USC, some communication errors. Shields remains front court for Arizona State. Big front line for USC. Fields coming at you fast. It's an overdig. Here she goes again. Fields turning it down the line. 
credit USC's defense never say die because that ball over by Arizona State was wicked. This is the finish of the play. Both teams starting set number two. A little more sharply than they were. USC free and they're attacking. Back. Picked up outside. Field thunderous kill. Scoring run by USC. Flat serve. Over the top. Fields lifts it up to go back outside for it. Williams instead. And Jelly Sear finishes from the backcourt. This is the strength of Arizona State. They have so many different attackers. Jelly Sear, beautiful coming in from the backcourt. Arizona State just wears you down with a lack of errors. Ball is an ace on the back line. Shields having a day. We've seen her attack. We've seen her ace. Her decision making is on point. JJ Van Neal told us about the investment in her improvement. She added three inches on her vertical this year with nutrition and training. Too hot to handle. Unload by Skyler Fields. Skyler Fields has a big window, backs way up so she can see the set coming and the court. Defenders are lined up, two right next to each other. It's where she goes, but just can't be contained. It's a hard ball coming over the head of Havello. USC within one. They have trailed by as many as four in this set. Stroll back. A ball a little bit outside. Levinska pulls out the right hand. Levinska cool as a cue. Loves a fast ball to the back. Levinska up front now, number four for Arizona State. Watch her blocking. She's worked a lot on her block touch, her eye work. And she's got Skyler Fields across from her. The Trojans coming back again. Zadiska in the back court to receive serve. And that's who they go at. Over the top. Uh-oh. Over. It's good. Fans love it. Levinska's back here to put a stop to the conversation. Snook over the goal Levinska again, you bet. Snook underneath it. Fans in Galen Center are invested. Free ball. Look for Fields. What? Wee Jay, one arm stab, longest rally we have seen. And it's a sharp kill, a slice by Skyler Fields. What a rally, the longest rally we have seen, the one arm stab by Wee Jay. And then Fields from way outside, barely tagging that outside line. Locked up at 13 apiece. After being up by four, USC has climbed back. They go after 
Zadiska again, and it is wide. Coming in up front for the Sundell, six foot three, Claire Jeter from Texas A&M transfer. Big front line, Jelly Sear on the left side, Marta Levinska on the right. One on one, fields will go a second time. Locked again at 14 all. Set up back third for the draw. Zadiska in the middle, this time receiving serve. Midway through the second set, Arizona State with a very narrow lead. That Skyler Fields has added six. The two big guns we told you about are doing the work. Snook, great pass. Weejay and the defense by Trubant. Ball is down. Great mix of pace. Levinska now. Serve again. Goes at Snook. Snook's a really good passer. Fields has her back. No blocker up on Skyler Fields coming from the back. Gala Trubant. Again, serving. Been an effective server in this match. Push. That's the go. Strong to an Inga. Net violation against Arizona State. Standing right in front of me at the broadcast table is J.J. Van Neal, the head coach of Arizona State. Of course, he coached all these players at USC last year with Brad Keller. He knows exactly where it's going. He's calling out each play. Levinska, perfect timing with Levinska. You make him drag it down. It's the most frustrating play as a blocker. Zadiska out. Habello in. You'll see not getting a lot of passage on the money that they can run their middles. The out of system game is strong. Meninga behind the service line. Remember that Levinska will take the cross country run to attack. Tape ace for Tuaninga, her second ace of this match. Tape ace, the deadliest of all. You got good pace on it, and the table be kind. More power and another ace. Back to back by Mia Tuaninga. Here it is again. Everybody thinking it's out it's through the wickets. JJ Van Neal has seen this too many times. Tuaninga very much a rhythm server. Back to back aces he calls. A timeout for a Sun Devil. More power. It's wide. Good timeout call by Van Neal. Just enough time to potentially ice the server. Senior middle blocker Claire Jeter. 
Serta. DJ, pass. Fields, like superwoman flying in from the backcourt. Watch this broad jump from Fields. Total control and command. Great hand contact by Fields. Here comes Levinska behind. She stays off the net. Collision. Ariel patrolling the net. Ariel and Williams got a little locked up there for a moment. A 4 1 run by USC. Blocked down. Ariel and Williams closing it off. Tyra Ariel having a day. Four kills on five swings. But look at the press on that block. Tyra Ariel, three blocks. Forehand straight across. That's as good as block as you'll see. Williams and Ariel combining. Yeah. The look on the face of Tyra Ariel. That's what I do. Let's see how to lead right about this point. Arizona State had a nice run to close it up. USC escaping with the win. Cannot take your foot off the gas. What to watch for here? Levinska in the backcourt has a long run. You can bet that Shields will be looking for her. Here's Levinska. They go outside the other way. Chased down. Free ball. Communication error from USC. Everybody in. Coach Brad Keller immediately telling his team, move on. That ends the 3-0 run. Levinska's front court. Great pass by VJ. This is going Levinska, no question. Sent back. A recycle. Because she's getting it again. Takes a bigger swing. That's one. Arizona State's just going to try to chip away. Brad Keller knows it. Calls a timeout, trying to cool off Arizona State, have his team have some composure again. We'll be back after this break to see who comes out swinging. V points. Can they make their move now? Levinska, front court for the Sun Devils. A serve by Shields. Shannon Shields having a heck of a game. She's done a little bit of everything. Tip the ball, aces, attack the ball hard, and distributing beautifully. It's not all Levinska. Pass is good. Going to the middle, it's over. Look for Fields. Big dig. Fields again. Gonna go over the top, here's the chance. Ball sent wide, that will end the 3-0 Arizona State scoring Back to Levinska, two blockers. That's just beautiful by Levinska. That's the high attack that J.J. Van Niel was calling for earlier. Off hands. Watch how Levinska attacks Skyler Fields' hands high. Beautiful sweep. Sun Devils within one. Going to the middle attack and over. Not put away, here comes Levinska. Another attack of the hands. 
They're saying out. And J.J. Van Neal out of his seat with the challenge card so quickly because it was not called a touch. My first impression was that it was a touch. We'll see what the replay shows. Do we see a touch on the block? So was it, or did it just go straight through clean? Uh, this is above my pay grade, I'm not sure. The original call was no touch. So the point USC, if it gets overturned, they have to have conclusive evidence. Looking again, ball doesn't change direction. In live action, I thought it was a touch. But because the call was no touch, it has to be conclusive to turn it around. Meanwhile, USC tuning and talking with their teammates hard at work. Derwin Jordan, our down official, an excellent Pac-12 official, taking his time to look at it, knowing how pivotal this is. This is the difference between 23 all for set point USC. And the call is overturned. A successful challenge by J.J. Van Neal and a satisfied smile. Changes the complexion of the set. <laughs> 23 all, Levinska's up front. So is Skylar Fields. Levinska serve, well passed by V.J. Fields puts it away. Everybody knowing that ball was going to go to Skyler Fields, including J.J. Van Neal and his team. She's just incredibly terminal. Set point USC. Shields chases after it. It's going to go to Fields again to put it away. USC takes set number two. Skyler Fields, another attack. An incredible performance by Skyler Fields with 10 kills in the second set alone. Unreal. Sir, perfectly passed. Who's running in for it? Weej does. Here comes Field from deep in the back court. Levinska is behind the service line. They find the line. They go the other way. Beautiful kill off hands. Jeter to the back court to serve. Maddie McLaughlin enters into the front court. Tuaninga cannot get up on either of these balls. She's backcourt setter. Just out last it. Get hit. Tuaninga will set it off you. Tuaninga can't jump for any of these. 
London Weejay on her toes. Levinska. Ball goes wide. Sun Devils. Just a little discombobulated, not playing as crisply as they were earlier. Hitting .045 in this second set with six kills and six errors. So actually now hitting .0 entirely. Meanwhile, Tyra Ariel having a day. Six kills for her on 10 swings, only one error, hitting a beautiful 500. Every USC player hitting with great numbers. The team, 421. Arizona State takes their last time out in their must-win set. For the Sun Devils, 15th ranked team, they're going to host the Mountain Schools at home, Colorado and Utah, and then they have a couple of ranked matchups as well. The Ducks and the Beavers will come to town, so it's a nice home stretch for Arizona State after this trip, and then they will finish on the road. Up in Pullman, right before Thanksgiving, and then at their cross-state rival, Arizona. JJ Van Neal inherited nine athletes. He said they went straight into leadership training outreach in the community. He made a point of pointing out to me that Mary Stroll, who transferred from LNU, voted to the leadership group, which is really rare when you're a transfer and you haven't even been with the team very much. Of course, Mary Stroll coming from Loyola Marymount to J.J. Van Neal's Arizona State team. LMU was one of the best passing teams in the NCAA in the past. Look at the wins in this century, right? Since the turn of the century, 22 wins so far this season for the Sun Devils. USC looking to improve to 16 and 8, 10 and 4. Gavinska inside, not the ideal. Fields. See the mix of pace from Skyler Fields. A win for this USC team over 15th ranked Arizona State with a really nice RPI would help them in postseason play in terms of their seating and where they will be. A little moisture being picked up on Arizona State's side of the net. London Weejay serving. Trojans plus 10. The passing, not allowing much of an offense to be run. Skyler Fields just over the top and down. That's a good block by Arizona State. Four hands straight across. God, I think she's jumping even higher now than she was earlier. That's a beautifully formed block. It's a little bit inside the block as well, or I should say outside the block. Pushing it to Levinska as they should. And outside the antennae, here's a point for Arizona State, ending the 5-0 SC run. They're going at WJ Fields. Still alive. It'll be a down ball from Levinska. Fields in and tight. She loves those. <laughs> to Aninga with traffic. Back again, Levinska. Prime for a good swing. Truman. Great up by the Sun Devils. Skyler Fields ending the conversation at the net.
Great pop up, but Fields just seeing it. Setter, of course, is back court. Shannon Shields could not go up and contest it. Did a good job getting herself in the right spot, though, to distract. Uh, that serve, very flat. Over dig. Great power by Roberto Habello. Arizona State with a very steep hill to climb in this must-win set, down by 10. Has to start with service pressure. Zadiska. They're keeping the ball on Weejay, as they have. Great up. Troll. Levinska powers through. That's one. And that's all you have to do for Arizona State. One at a time. Getting the ball to Levinska. Great delivery by Shields between two defenders. Ace served by Zadiska. A quick two points for Arizona State. Brad Keller has not yet used a timeout. Using one now just to stop the momentum that Arizona State is building after a 3-0 scoring run. Of course, basketball starting now. Pac-12 basketball just about to tip off. Look at all this great basketball we have coming up on Monday. It's a huge day, opening day. Terrific basketball around the conference. USC's teams, both men and, or excuse me, the Pac-12 teams, men and women, looking very strong. All the action starting at 2.30 Pacific time tomorrow. Of course, you can catch all those games on Pac-12 now as well. Fans in the Galen Center having a good time. A 3 0 scoring run by the Sun Devils. They still trail by eight. It's a must win set for the Sun Devils. Marta Levinska with 20 kills. Skyler Fields, 22 kills. Both of them hitting 410 or better. Arizona State, usually a very good passing team, has been a little bit off, so they haven't been able to get their middles involved as much. They haven't been able to do the gap and go overload to the left side as they like to do. After a timeout, a little ice on the server. Front court setter in Mia Tuaninga and in Shanna Shields. Levinska off high hands, picked up by Weejay. How about that? Lindsay Miller, we've seen her hit tight behind the setter. This time they push her to the pin. About as clean of a match as I have seen USC play this year. Only five attackers in the entire match. That's crazy. Tuninga takes a quick look at the defense. So we're just going to go back to fields one more time. One-on-one -on -one is never going to be enough to block Skyler Fields. Pass is good. Levinska again uses hands. Ends a 3-0 SC scoring run. Ellie Snook re-enters. Mary Schroll. Serving. 
They've kept the ball on Lennon Weejay and she has withstood the pressure. They go again at her. Tougher ball, just in play. Levinska's behind. That is quick to the middle. Well done. Connecting with Claire Jeter. Very strong back serve. Arizona State just hasn't passed consistently enough to get Jeter more balls. She doesn't have any attack errors. She's got four kills on six swings, it's, but it's only six swings. Fields, meanwhile, dug by Schroll. Levinska, hole in the block. Weejay's sitting right in it. Still plenty of breathing room for the Trojans. What's at stake? Some important momentum for USC after beating Arizona earlier this week. A serve. Sun Devils showing really nice signs of life. Is it too late? I don't know. Riley McGinnis entering for the first time. She's a sophomore out of Long Beach, California. She will come in in the middle. Outside the fields, gets a touch again. SC looking poised to win five of their last six matches. If they can finish this one out, five of six is an awfully good run before you head to the Pacific Northwest. And there will be a ranked opponent in each matchup for SC for the rest of the year. Fields will take care of it. No, Weejay. Weejay tries to, no dice. Six matches remaining until the postseason for both of these teams. Fields re-enters Verbeest behind the service line. SC two points away. Services long, match point, USC. <laughs> USC on the cusp of sweeping both Arizonas this weekend. Trubin serving for the match. A sweep over 15th ranked Arizona State. The USC Trojans improved to 16 and eight. Split the season series with Arizona State. That's a big win for USC. For JJ Van Neel and company, still sitting wonderfully at 22 and four overall, 10 and four overall as they head into the final six of their season. That's an incredibly clean match played by USC. Seven attack errors overall. They hit 358 as a team. Six blocks. USC defends home floor and picks up a sweep of the Arizona's for our fantastic Pac-12 crew. I'm Anne-Marie Anderson. So long from the Galen Center, where the USC Trojans have had a great weekend.
after Skyler Fields. 